Hey guys, it's Dimo from Dimostech and today we are looking at the Flipper Zero, your hacking Tamaguchi. So what is this thing actually? Well, that little device is actually sort of a cybersecurity multi-tool. I wouldn't call it exactly a hacking tool, but it might. Now, it has multiple capabilities and many functions. So it has an infrared, as you can see here. It has a sub 1 gigahertz uh, transceiver, both transmitting and receiving. It has uh, an eye button connection, which I never saw in my country, so I couldn't test or anything with it. Uh, it has a GPIO, so you can pretty much extend it with additional hardware or test some hardware or even maybe infiltrate some hardware and many, many more. It has obviously Bluetooth, which will connect to an app on your phone and even on a smartwatch after you paired everything. It charges via USB-C, as you can see here. And yeah, the device is pretty small with a lot of software and configurations. It's open source mostly, and you can pretty much write software on it. There are even games and a lot of capabilities. And another thing that I forgot to mention for some reason is the 125 kHz RFID transceiver. It can pretty much read, save and emulate. Same with NFC, and yeah, a lot of things that you can do. So what can I do with this? Well, I can use the infrared to control any device, uh, for example, a TV, an air conditioner, turn them off, there's a special app for turning off everything here, or pretty much record any command from a remote control and then emulate it as well. I can copy 125 kilohertz tags, for example, for my office door, and then emulate and actually enter to my office door. So yeah, you can open doors with it. And also you can open smaller doors as well, like the Tesla charging port. Now, as you understand, there are a lot of capabilities for that device. The problem is, what else can I do with this? Me personally, nothing probably, but it's more of a use for my friend who it belongs to, who is pretty much a cybersecurity enthusiast and he and others do need such tools which can help them do more stuff. So as I said, there are GPIOs, you can investigate hardware, software, a lot of other things. You can pretty much write software for it. So basically the capabilities are pretty much limitless. Now, my friend actually does more things with that as far as I know, and it belongs to him. And I just borrowed it for this simple video. And as I said, I don't have more things to do with that. But that's just me. Now, do you or me need such a device? Probably no, because for us, it's pretty much a small toy. It's fun to play with. It's easy to do most of the stuff that I showed. And probably you can do much more stuff with it and mostly you can do legal stuff. If you'll go deeper, obviously you can do more stuff. Again, that depends what are your capabilities, what are your understandings, but that's not the device for me or for any regular person. So I'm here only to show this. Now that device is probably one of its kind or at least first of its kind that is actually capable to do so much in such a small tiny package and easy to use. I mean, most of the things that I did are pretty much push of a few buttons here that's pretty much it. Now, this device is actually sold online. It was a Kickstarter at first, and probably I would never think to order something like this from a Kickstarter project because I wouldn't even believe that such thing can exist. Seriously, this thing is awesome. Now, if you want to order one, obviously be careful because some of the countries, including mine actually, prevent this device from entering its country. So basically, if I would try to ship it here, it will be probably blocked on the way and will never reach me on the regular shipment basis. But yeah, there are always ways to actually get one of these, but that depends on your country and who you can find. I will leave a link to the official website of the Flipper Zero, but I wouldn't recommend you to actually try to order it or order it from other places like I did see it on AliExpress. I have no idea if it's fake or real there. I have no idea if he'll be using it for something good or not. So. Everything, whatever you do, if you actually get one of these, it's on your own. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.